you. My name is Saul. I'm a mortgage broker. I live in Sydney, but I can serve anyone anywhere in Australia. Today, I'm going to talk about five mistakes that first home buyers make. Okay, this is not a financial advice. Um, you know, even if you have the same job, everyone, other situations are different. So everyone result is different. Okay. Um, so, you know, okay, I'm going to talk about five mistakes that first home buyer usually make. Okay. So number one is, um, this is what actually, uh, someone I know told me when he, was looking for the first property it cost him five thousand and twelve months of his life because he made this mistake i also made some mistake when i bought my first one 22 years ago so i'm just telling you this so you don't make mistake okay okay so number one is you know um, just select two suburb the most, you know, when you're looking for a house. Don't look everywhere, okay? Two suburb maximum because, um, you know, a lot of suburb might meet your criteria, but if they are like 40 minutes away, you'll be running around everywhere on the weekend. So you don't have enough time to check the property properly. So you could make a lot of mistake. Okay. So select two suburb. They're not, which are not too far away. Two suburb maximum. Okay. So, um, before you can decide, don't go around looking. Just look, um, you know, uh, listing, house listing on the internet before that before you can decide okay okay second is uh be specific with what you want okay so if you decide the suburb you know how much you can afford because we give you pre-approval so you know what you can get townhouse or a house or a unit okay decide okay before you go around looking if you can't decide just look internet first okay like an internet listing okay okay and also know what your ideal um you know home looks like not not only what it looks like the price and everything you know the neighbor you know it should be face front i mean um and I, I don't know you know should it face north or east or west okay decide that and then also do due diligence about the suburb okay so you know check the council check with me find out about neighbor you know every suburb has a housing but if your street don't have housing is it's good you know if you especially if you buying something with the land is it a square land you know um you know what are the restriction in the land you know um sewage um what do you call the other thing um you know is there a big tree in the land you know it's the the roof leaking you know the plumbing all right check everything okay sewage you know sewage line um drainage line where are they you know make sure your house is not situated under the flight path you know and your house is not situated near the highway that's coming okay check everything how far is your house from the shopping center school parks okay know before you buy okay okay so you know if you lose one don't worry there's always the next one around the corner what you said what i told my customer especially if they're the first home buyer you know just check 10 house before you just dis- you make serious decision like you make an offer on one after you look 
you know you physically look around 10 house you know what you're looking at you know how much they are worth okay you can make a good decision okay what i said to them is if you dis uh, if you take the wrong one it's like a marriage you can't take another one come up okay so it's stuck with you for long you can't easily get rid of it because there's cost you know selling cost buying cost you know so um you know if something you know not right you didn't your offer don't don't get accepted it's not the end of the world just look another one okay and with your budget uh bank may lend you like one million but just buy something look at your last six months saving okay and then the broker will tell you how much is your repayment so buy something that you know your repayment is not higher than your last six months saving okay that means you can afford you've been doing that for six months you should be able to afford ongoing at least a few years okay and also buy something which will grow with you for a few years because you might get married you might have children you might have pets you know they all need rooms you know and you can't go and buy the house every year you know because there's costs involved unless you like a medical like a doctor or something some of them buy every year okay um okay and calm yourself down okay and find a coach like me because i not only get you alone i let you know you know what to look in a property so you find the best one for your budget and i also give you the loan that you can you have available um it's flexible enough for you to pay off asap you know if you follow my guide of course um and then when you find the house you really like i check for you so you find you know the good one for your budget i also have a lawyer my lawyer has bed inspection people bedding inspection people so my lawyer can check the contract before you pay 0.25 percent so you know it could save your money okay so find someone like me and you don't pay me i only get paid when i can get you home loan okay so yeah um so i hope this video help you if it help you and your friends and family um you think please i ask you to please like and share it all my details are in the post okay if you share it and they come to me and got home loan from me um i give you and my client gifts okay okay may you have a blessed night blessed day ahead may you be healthy wealthy and wise thank you very much bye